Morning everyone. We're going to go for a ride today. It's a beautiful day in Melbourne. So I thought I'd go sh through and show everyone how I put my bike rack and what I've done on here. So let's get into it. So this bike style of bike rack actually is a one for the tow hitch. Um, but we have our camper trailer, which we are planning on towing around and we want to take our bikes. So what, we've, what I've done is made this bar across the top here uh, to lift the, obviously the mounting point up higher. So it's mounted to the tray, um, to the tray in there. Got some support gussets here to, to correspond with the, um, the load applied here when this is bolted down and then uh, fix it up to the top of the um, roof rack as well. So let's get into it, I'll put it on. Alright, yeah, so I thought I'd just show you, I've got M24 bolt, spacer, spring washer and bits and pieces, exactly the same as what it would be with the tow, tow bar. Um, currently I'm only using a fastie strap up the top that seems to be sufficient. Inside here, inside there, is a piece of this pipe that is welded inside. So from this point to this point, including this spacer, is solid. So that's never gonna bow. And you can see here, the pressure point's coming down in here. So we've got pretty much a triangle uh, for the uh, for support. Anyway, let's get back into putting it on. Now let's go put the bikes on. Before I put the bikes on, I want to show you something. So I'm 95 kgs, 90, 95, depending on the day. So just watch this point. Pretty bloody solid. And I'm not an engineer, I just use a bit of common sense. Triangles are strong, reduce movement where you can, which will, yeah, doesn't add fatigue to stuff. Rightio, so they're on there. Um, what I now do is get some bungee straps and tie the wheels 
actually tie my bike back to the actual rack so there's no movement as well. Um, and then yeah, tie the, tie all the wheels together. We're just using bungee straps so they don't flap around. So let's get into that. So one last thing I need to show you, so, because I've got OCD, I chuck some pool noodles in, wherever it's gonna be rubbing, um, on the bikes, especially on my forks up here. Just don't want any damage to those, but um, like the bikes move around a little bit, but they're not gonna go anywhere. I drove to Queensland and back um, Christmas time, in a similar similar situation as that, so no dramas at all. Now, as you can see, the height, the height here. I need the height here. I'll chuck in a couple of videos to clear a couple of photos. Sorry, to clear the winch of the trailer. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll get some videos of us on the on the trails. Thanks, guys. So it wasn't the one last thing I needed to show you. I need to show you where I put the kids' bike. So, Elkie's bike, while it's tiny, sits up here, and Eddie's bike is in here, um, and Mum and Dad's up there. So this is this is just how we load it up when we're going without the camper trailer. But what we're going to do when we are travelling, Mum and Dad bikes on the car still, and the kids' bike on the camper because if you get the kids' bikes off, it gives them something to do while we set up real quickly. So, and our camper trailers pretty much set up now. So we have nothing else on top. Everything's either inside storage, inside the canopy, or in a place on the can on the camper trailer. So um, yeah, I just that's where the kids' bikes go and that's how we plan on doing a bit of a trip. Thanks guys.